Hey traders, D7 here, and we want to talk about a couple trades. Oh boy, NYX and ICE. I I entered three trades today, and the three that I chose, I started seeing activity pre-market on the NYX, and this is what I was seeing. I thought, you know what, we have a nice bullish divergence, you know, and we're making kind of a higher high. We closed near the day's high. I said, if we could get up here in this area, I want it in. Sure enough, we got up in that area, and we came crashing back down. I stopped out for a loss and eyes this is what I was seeing so this is nice we're hanging out up here at this upper line we have a dragonfly doji you know we should pop up nice divergence wouldn't surprise me if we get a little pop here so what I um, did thought was if I could get up over this moving average or I'm sorry this upper trend line I am in this one and sure enough that's precisely what I get so I entered near the day's high, only to see it crash back down and <clears throat> took a hit on that one. So NYX and IS were both losers today. I hate this engulfing pattern that we get. Um, yeah, nothing you can do to safeguard yourself on that one, other than the fact staying out of financials. Good night, what am I thinking? So anyway, um, TSO is another one I'm in. Nice falling wedge formation and um, nice bullish divergence and I said if we could pop on volume I would get into this and sure enough we did popped on volume so I'm in this one um, nice profits and I decided to hold I didn't exit this one so we'll see what it brings the CPI is tomorrow it's gonna bring I have a funny feeling that tomorrow is not gonna be pretty on the bull side so I'm looking for some nice short candidates and I have a couple that I showed you in the last video looking forward to those and hopefully make some nice money on the downside if in fact that's what we get it's anybody's guess I don't try to guess the markets I just play what I get today was a little turbulent as uh, we you know shot up pre-market we had a um, this is the VIX S&P right here we had this nice breakout to the upside on the S&P I thought this is it you know Walmart is pushing us up higher and then we come crashing back down we had a 30 point move to the upside on gold today and we are at one hundred dollars one hundred dollars and one penny I believe on um, on oil interesting so anyway I expect us to drop here we'll see though we'll play whatever we get so whichever breakout we get or break down we get whichever direction we go is when I'll start committing my money into the markets right now I'm pretty much sitting on my hands in this consolidation going sideways don't have too much going on so there you have it be safe out there in the markets and educate 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 yourself be very disciplined and be emotionally separate from money do not allow money to be the thing that drives you. Fear and greed is the disease, it's the killer to traders. Separate yourself from that. Later.